Hello, Christ the King family, and welcome to our Monday morning devotion. I hope everyone is having a wonderful three-day weekend. Um, if you have the opportunity to be uh, resting today or off work, I hope you are taking advantage of that and are able to um, have some downtime and some rest. Um, I was thinking uh, today as I was preparing for this devotion about Memorial Day and um, about the origins of Memorial Day um, beginning as a way to decorate um, graves of Confederate soldiers and becoming uh, an official holiday in the 70s and um, as a way to remember those who um, have died in military service. And um, I think about the fact that I don't know when I realized that was what Memorial Day was. Um, because culturally, we can turn Memorial Day into just about anything. Um, uh, a reason to um, be with family, um, a reason to take some time off, um, a reason to celebrate, um, to have community events, um, and maybe not to think about um, the memories of those who have passed um, in service at all. Uh, but part of that is because we are um, complicated people who live uh, full lives um, that are full of both lament and joy. Um, I read uh, an article, an old article from Living Lutheran, I think from 2016, that called Memorial Day the Day of Lost Lament. Um, and I thought about the fact that, you know, um, maybe we have uh, forgotten, maybe not forgotten, um, but steered ourselves away from lament in some ways, um, because lament can be uncomfortable. Um, but the Bible is full of lament, um, because God is there for both um, our joys and our lamentations uh, alike. And I think on days like this, we can remember that. Um, if you are remembering those who have uh, lost their lives, um, I encourage you to go to God in your laments today, uh, to seek out others that can be with you during that time of lamentation, um, and to know that God is always there, whether we are um, joyfully gathering together uh, in community or whether we are um, lamenting alone. And that's okay to be in both of those spaces uh, separately or both of them at the same time, because God is a big God who can handle all of those things all together. Let's pray together. God, we are thankful for those who have chosen to serve. Um, we pray for a day when war is no longer necessary, when uh, your reign of peace and love and justice will be uh, everywhere, and when this will no longer be necessary. And we thank you for your presence in our lives, even when uh, we are uh, in times of grief, and also that you are there with us when we are joyful. Um, help us to stay close to you in all of the times, uh, no matter what we might be going through in this moment. And we pray for those for whom today is a hard day, and may those people be surrounded with others who can be with them in their time of grief. Um, and we pray for joy to come into those lives as well. We pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Have Everyone has a great Memorial Day. Bye.